All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back here today to do another Discord voice chat and texting tutorial for the program. Last time we covered how to do the basic setup and get started with installing the program, creating a server, setting up your basic user settings, and today we're going to dive a little bit further into the individual user permissions and roles by setting up a brand new server that is going to be used by some friends of mine in order to raid in the latest expansion for World of Warcraft, which is Legion, which just launched uh, last night. So they're a World of Warcraft guild, and they want to have different sort of ranks within this server so that they can denote the difference between people who are just regular raiders, people who are in charge of the raids, the officers, and then also random members that might pop in and out, depending on what they need for individual raids. And eventually we're going to have it looking a lot like their regular hangout server, the Harambe Memorial server, where they've got, you know, our buddy Assy, who is the guy who owns the server. There's me, who I'm like co-owner. And then there's the general members, there's random hobos who are our friends that we've invited over here, um, some just random people, and then those people who are offline. And we're going to denote different rankings and set people up with different permission groups. So there's two sets of settings here in Discord that you should always be aware of. There's the one down here, which is your user settings. This is specific to your installation of Discord and your Discord account. So this is things like your account information, like I'm Larry the Chupacabra, is my email, I could change my password if I wanted. I can hook this directly into YouTube and Twitch. I can also, you know, change all these settings. And then the other settings are up here at the top of the page in the upper left, which are the server settings. These include server notification settings that you can decide if you want to mute notifications from the server. And then, of course, you've got the primary bread and butter of the server, which is the server settings where you can change the name at any point from like dim to dim zim bada bim. But I'll just leave that as dim for right now. And then primarily what we want to cover here is the roles tab. This is where we can assign people different um, titles, different permission groups, different jobs that they're in charge of on the server. And I already kind of know what I want to add, but the first thing I'll do is I'll double check the permissions for the at everyone tag. And the at everyone tag is just people who have logged in to the server for the first time. That is the default. Everybody gets these permissions and it allows them to, I don't think they need to create an instant invite. They can change their nickname, which is fine. And then they should be able to send messages, read messages, don't want them to send a TTS message because that's a text to speech. And I don't want them to constantly have like robot crap distracting people while they're trying to raid. Um, they don't need to manage messages. They can embed links, attach files, read messages. And that's like messages that have existed prior to them logging into the server. And they can also mention the at everyone tag to get everyone's attention if they need help with something. That sounds fine. They can connect, they can speak, and they can use voice activity. Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to label out all the roles that I want. So we're going to need raiders for one of the roles, and we're going to need officers. And then we're going to add a rando, sort of random person role. This will just be any old person that ends up logging in. And that's going to be the core of our permissions group. So let's start with raiders. This is going to be the primary bread and butter of our server, the main people that are gonna come in and use it. I'm gonna make their name appear orange, and I'm going to make it so that their role or their title appears as a separate section within the logged in users list. And then I'm not going to allow people to mention them by name, because the raiders are not going to have any specifically powerful permissions to control anything, so getting their attention is kind of pointless. And then down here, I don't want them to have administrator powers, because administrator powers allows you full control over the server. 
Same with managing the server settings. Those allow you to change these settings in particular. And then managing roles allows people to log in and change people's permissions that have less permissions than they do. Like, for example, I, as Muffins, that's the my nickname in this community, I'm not able to give myself more power than I already have, and I'm not allowed to give myself less power. Same with the guy that runs the power. I can't manipulate Assy because he's got more permissions than I do. So, you know, he's my boss, technically. So basically what I want them to have is I want them to be able to kick members. I want them to be able to hmm, create instant invites, and this allows them to invite people to the server. And then they can change their nickname, but they don't need necessarily any of the rest of those permissions. As far as text permissions go, they can send TTS messages. They don't need to manage messages because this gives them the ability to delete other people's messages or edit them. And then they can send messages, they can read messages, they can attach or upload files through Discord. They can embed links that will, like, you link, say, Facebook or YouTube, it'll embed like a video that's on that page automatically, so that's what embedding does. They can read the message history, they can message at everybody, and I'll even let them use fun emojis. And then down here, I will allow them to move members in and out of channels, because sometimes officers that are busy managing the raid will be otherwise occupied. So if a random member needs to come into the, the raiding channel, which will be locked off to random people, then any raider can pull them in as necessary. And then they don't necessarily need the ability to mute or deafen people because that's kind of an admin's job. Now I will control the administrators and I'll make their name like a dark red color because they're fancy, they're imposing, they're officers, and you don't mess with them because their name's all freakishly red. And then I'm gonna let them be a different section in the sidebar, and I'm also going to let people mention at this role so that they can say at leaders or at officers, and then a, a little notification will pop up on all of the officers' discords that somebody needs their help with something. And then I'll also make it clear to people that if they abuse that, they will get in trouble. So these people will be able to manage channels or create or delete channels or change their permissions. They'll also be able to manage roles, kick members, ban members, create instant invites, and manage nicknames. So this allows people this manage nicknames thing, and, it's, and you can also learn this if you hover over the question mark. This allows you to change the nickname or the display name of anybody on the server. It'll only change their name on that server specifically, and it won't affect them outside of that server. So if someone gives you a dumb nickname on a server and you don't necessarily like it, it won't show up anywhere else, so don't worry about it. Then I want them to be able to send messages, manage messages. Um, this I give them so that if someone says something racist or offensive or just trying to be a douchebag, they can then delete it. And then they'll be able to mute, deafen, move members, connect, speak, and all of that stuff. And for any reason you need to delete a role inside of Discord, just scroll down to the bottom of this permissions list and you can just click the little dumpster. All the delete buttons are a little dumpster and you have to double click it in order to confirm your choice to delete something. So you can't do it by accident. And then random people, being so very new and green, will be, well, green. They'll be different from everybody else. They'll just be a random role. No reason to let people mention at them. They'll be allowed to change their nickname, and that's really about it for their general permissions. For text, they can read, send messages. They don't get to send TTS messages. Um, they don't need to mention... I guess they can mention at everybody, but I don't feel they need to attach files. And I guess they can embed links if they want to. That's pretty harmless. And then they can connect to different channels. They can speak in different channels. And for right now, I will allow them to use voice activity. Now, you're probably asking, Larry, why wouldn't I want people to be able to use a basic feature of voice activation or voice detection on, like, in or on a chat program? And that's very simple. Some people are assholes and they don't control their mic quality very well. And you can hear things like clicks, pops, chewing, farting, dogs barking and whining in the background. So if that's a problem, 
you can simply go in here and disable this and they'll have to set up a push to talk hotkey or else they won't be able to use their microphone at all. And that more or less covers all of our different permissions here inside of Discord. Now we need to start assigning the different members of the guild to their different roles. Now there's two ways of doing that. We can go here to the members list and just find the everyone um, tag for all the people that don't have a role assigned to them, or we can search their name manually by typing it in, which makes things really quick, especially if you have a shit ton of people. So Captain Cave Johnson is an officer, Deus is a raider, and then Jeffy Banks is a rando, Kozen is a raider, and then I can just start going through the sidebar as well over here on the side, and I can start right-clicking people and hovering over this roles pull-out menu and assign them that way. And then I think that's actually pretty much everybody, really, and just give Wildheart a Raiders tag. And that's everybody that's currently logged into the channel. So there is one last thing that we can do before we leave off for this tutorial, and that is we need to make a couple other channels. So this will be like um, Raid Strategy for a channel that's able for everyone to see. And that will be where we just discuss the strategies for how to kill different bosses, what you should do for heroics, etc., etc. And then I also need to add a text channel for officer chat. And this won't be visible to anyone but people who are officers, ass pirate, or me in my muffins rank. And we will be the only people who can even see that this channel exists. And I keep forgetting that this goes by IRC chat server rules, and you have to you can't have spaces in the text channel names for whatever reason. So now we have a raid strategy. We have the general chat. Let's create like a shit posting channel for just random gags and bullshit. So that'll be where the shit posting happens here. And so no one but officers and people with server permissions can see the officer chat channel. Now, just because I want to be sure that nobody sees this private information, I'm going to go to Edit Channel, I'm gonna to go to Permissions, and I'm going to prevent everybody down here from reading messages. So, by default on a lot of channels, it should have, like, blank for these permissions. And the thing to remember about channel permissions in Discord is they adopt the default server permissions for all of the roles, unless you specify otherwise. So I'm going to make it so that nobody, like, no random person without a specific role can even read the messages in this server, or not this server, but this channel. They won't be able to send messages, they basically won't be able to do anything to this channel. And they also won't be able to create an instant invite for it, just to be sure. And then I'll look over here, and then officers have the ability to read messages, they have the ability to send messages, they can attach files, they can embed links, they... This is not something they're allowed to send TTS messages from because that's distracting. Um, actually, we'll just leave that default. So, anything that you don't specify in here will remain default unless you change it for individual channels. Like, I'll have the ability to read messages and everything else by default, same with Ass Pirate, we'll click Done for this channel. And now I want to go through here and create a couple more voice channels. So let's hear Raid Group 1, and then we'll create Raid Group 2, then I'll have PvPness as a penis joke, then we'll create a Pugging Around channel, and then the default channel is going to be the lounge for people to hang out. But what I want to do is I want to make these Raid channels viewable by everybody, but I don't want everybody to be able to connect. So nobody can just randomly connect to this, but I'll be able to connect, and then Ass Pirate will be able to connect, the officers will be able to connect to this channel, and then the raiders will also be able to connect to this channel. And then if anyone else needs to be brought into this channel, they can individually pull people in as necessary. So that permission is move members. And now they'll be able to move people in here. 
And if I need to delete anything, again, you just click this little trash can icon down at the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to also do that same permission. Whoops, this got changed. There should be a space here. There we go. I'm gonna do that same thing to group two. Not anybody can connect. And then we'll set it up so that everybody else will be able to then enter and pull people into the channel. So we'll be able to say, you can come in, and then I can come in, raiders can come in, and officers can come in, and everything else will be set by default. But I like to double like down on permissions just to be safe, because I don't always trust it. Sometimes when Discord gets updated, some of the permissions get broken for whatever reason. And then the rest of these channels can remain open to the general public. And that, in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up and manage permissions on the channel. And if you need to remove people's permissions, it's as easy as going up into the server list, going to server settings, going to roles, and just finding them here, changing the setting, or finding their name here and blocking them or removing them or whatever, and you don't necessarily even need someone to be logged in to manipulate them. They all show up in this list, no matter if they're online, offline, or if they change their name. And I can even change people's nicknames. I can kick them and ban them from this screen as well. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this helpful and insightful for setting up your own servers at home. And if you have any questions or if I skipped anything that you really want to know or need to know, go ahead and ask me in the channel comments below. And until next time, if you found this, you know, tutorial helpful, do me a favor, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles, everybody.